everyone was sick. Half our team was gone by like the end of the week. Parents and students in Elk Grove are concerned tonight about a possible food illness outbreak. The complaint started after a booster club fundraiser in Galt over the weekend, and now the Sacramento County Public Health Department is investigating. New tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Elk Grove with more on the outbreak and how the school's responding. Macy? Well, Sam and Adrian, this started on Saturday with a joint fundraiser for Sheldon High School. About 60 players from the softball and baseball teams were there, along with 200 parents and friends. Well, afterwards, some people complained about feeling sick and they thought the food from the fundraiser might be to blame. Now, the school is calling this a very unusual situation. Everyone was sick. Half our team was gone by like the end of the week. Junior Alfio Grafrida takes us back to last Saturday night, describing a fundraising gala in Galt for the Sheldon High softball and baseball teams. A lot of family, a lot of friends, all the all the players were there just serving the food and stuff, so it was a really good experience. But he says some of the 260 people who attended started complaining about feeling sick the next day. I had no suspicions. My parents thought the macaroni and cheese was a little little off and they thought the chicken was a little weird, but that was pretty much it. According to Elk Grove Unified School District, some people said they experienced flu-like symptoms or foodborne illness symptoms. The team's booster club took the complaints to the Sacramento County Environmental Management Department. We reached out to the department too and the county sent us this statement saying currently 10 people have been reported to public health who may be linked to this. As part of the investigation, public health is working to identify the cause of the illness and anyone who may have become ill. According to Sacramento County Public Health, the event was catered. We called the company several times throughout today to ask about the event, but no one has responded. We checked and found out the company's Facebook and Twitter pages, active earlier today, are now deleted. We don't know what to do. Um, we don't have any food left, so I don't know what we can do legally, but hopefully we could like, find a situation where everybody gets out good. Now, the school told us that fewer than eight students from both of the teams were out from school on Monday. They'll continue to monitor the situation and make sure all of their students are healthy and back at school. All right, Macy, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in Sacramento County. We received this story from a viewer tip. If you have a story idea, you can let us know. You can use Twitter, Facebook, or send us an email to news at cbs13.com.